this is jambiz and welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a review of twitter ads and twitter analytics for my digital marketing and business tuesdays this is a follow-up of last week's video on how to create twitter ads so if you haven't watched that click on the link above to watch that first because this is a follow-up i'll also share the link in the description below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel click the red subscribe button below for more digital marketing business and branding videos as mentioned last week i'll be doing a quick review of the ad types before we get to the analytics so i'll i'll go through each of the ad types one by one explaining what they do and the products or services they would be best to advertise with so app installs i think that one is pretty straightforward it's pretty clear if you're advertising an app and you want people to download and install your app this is the ad type you go with obviously i haven't been able to do this one because well i don't have an app <laughs> i don't have an app then followers if you want to build your audience you want to grow your following so that you have more people engaging with your content this is the ad type you go with if you want to grow your followers grow your audience tweet engagements is what we did last week if you want people to engage with your content likes retweets comments and so on this is the ad type you go with and i'll show you how the last ad we promoted last week did this is the ad we promoted last week it got 22 retweets and 168 likes which is pretty decent uh, the ad was running for six days yeah about six days and as you remember i picked this one randomly it was just one of the tweets on my account so as far as this one goes it did it did quite okay so this is the tweet engagement so that one you know works pretty well promoted video views as we discovered in last week's video as well you can't promote uh, your youtube videos or youtube channel using this because the ad type does not allow you to link to a youtube video now it only allows you to promote a video that's already on twitter and as you know twitter does not allow video posts of a certain length so you can only promote technically you can only promote a gif with this which i wouldn't know why you would be promoting a gif but that's the only thing you can do with this so you can't promote your youtube videos with this then website clicks if you're promoting your website and especially if you have an online shop where people can purchase a product online this is the perfect ad for you this is the perfect ad so your yeah, website clicks if you want to send people to your website to learn more about your brand your product again this is the ad type for you app re-engagements that's if you want people who have already downloaded your app to open and use your app that's the ad type again i don't have an ad so i can't test this one out unfortunately now in stream video views the pre-roll this is relatively new i've never actually had a chance to use it before but i've set up an ad for this it's currently running i've set it up and i want to see what kind of results it will give me then i'll share that with you guys next week in uh, the next video it won't be about twitter because this is the last twitter video but i'll just give you an a quick update in the next tutorial so what this what i understand this does this is as per my understanding because like i said i've just set up set up the ad i haven't had a chance to experiment with it so this is just what i understand as of now the in-stream video views what it says it's it pairs your video your videos with premium content basically kind of what youtube does it will run your ad uh, with the popular content that is popular accounts accounts that have a lot of following and a bigger audience it will pair your ads with that so that you get a lot of views and a lot of uh, impressions so how they say it works you run an in-stream video uh, run in-stream video ads before videos by popular creators and publishers which like i'm saying is kind of like how youtube works in the beginning of, it, of a video you'll see a, a short clip maybe a few seconds video ad before the actual v 
video begins and that happens with a popular channel so it's kind of similar so you run in stream video ads before videos by popular creators and publishers your videos will run alongside premium content to reach an engaged audience so you pay for the number of in-stream video views yeah you want to pay your content your videos with premium content which is basically like i said what i understand is they run your video and oh you can promote a video with this one by the way <laughs> you can promote your youtube videos with this one but again i'll confirm that after i've run the ad for a few days i'll confirm that in the next tutorial so basically just pair your content with popular channels with popular creators so that their audience see your ad basically so yeah that's it for the twitter ads review have i left one out hold on <laughs> actually there's still one more awareness works kind of the sort of sort of the same with followers and twitch engagements basically its goal is just to get your ad in front of as many people as possible so that they see your brand it they kind of start it becomes it becomes familiar which is what now builds the awareness they see it enough times it becomes familiar so it kind of builds that awareness they start to get to know your brand so the goal is to get it in front of as many eyes as possible whether they engage with it or not so yeah that's it for the twitter ads review i will now go to the analytics Again, I want to show you how to create a, an ad on this because I already showed you in last week's video. Check that video out if you haven't already. So let's get to the analytics. Now with analytics, if you go under analytics after you've run your ad, you want to see the performance and everything. You want to see the results, the analytics all together. This is where you go. Now with analytics, you have to be on your Twitter ads. Uh, you remember I mentioned this, your Twitter ads account, which is ads.twitter.com. You have to be on the Twitter ads account side, not on your personal or business account side, Twitter account. So on the ads account, you have analytics right here. If you click on this, you can see there are several uh, tabs that, on the drop down. You have account home tweet activity audience insights video activity and events i'll cover the first three because i don't have a video activity anything for this to show for this or events i haven't promoted any event on this so i'll cover just the first three which is still uh, which is basically what you need actually to understand how twitter analytics looks like and works so i'll start with account home this is what account home home looks like it will give you a 28 day summary of your account so for example how many tweets you've done in the last 28 days the impressions how many people have seen your tweet both organic and promoted the the profile visits in the last 28 days the people who've clicked to see your profile to see more about your account your brand or your business or whatever it is you're promoting and the number of mentions and number of followers and you can see it tells you if it's dropped or if it's increased and by how much so the top tweet the most engaged tweet obviously is the one i promoted and it's giving me those results here you can see each tweet you can see the individual tweet activities but since we'll be going to that next i will click on that then top mention uh, if anyone tagged you in a post, uh, this is someone tagged, tagged someone else and myself in that post to kind of highlight my ad. Then the top follower, one of the people who followed you who have a lot of followers, top followers. Then top media to it, the one that's gotten uh, a lot of buzz, I suppose, which has gotten the most impressions and engagement. So that's your account home it just gives you a brief summary as you can see a brief 28 day summary then if you go to tweet activity now this will break it down for you a bit more so these are the tweet activities you can see the number of impressions over the 28 day period you can always change this right here you can change to see the last seven days 
you can change to see maybe if it's the month of December and so on you can change the data range you want to view then this gives you even uh, both promoted and organic tweets to see the engagement the impressions engagement and engagement rate so there we go so that's your tweet activity again with this it's also pretty straightforward and you can see even on the side you have your engagement rate your link clicks your retweets your likes your replies that's comments and so on then we have the audience insights i think of all the social media platforms twitter probably has the most comprehensive audience insights uh, they have a lot of breakdown on the audience some of it i don't even understand how they manage to get it for example net worth how do they determine your net worth on twitter considering you don't really share much about employment and all that here who knows and they have a lot of breakdown on your audience from their interests i don't know how they manage to get this but they do and how accurate i can't speak to how accurate it is but anyway they have your interests if you want to target people with a specific interest you can pick from this see in the in the next ad you do you can say probably like target people who are interested in technology in tech news and so on depending on what you're advertising so they give you a breakdown of interests they give you a breakdown of income which i also don't understand where they get this from but they give you a household income categories net worth marital status education level home ownership so depending on what you're advertising this could be useful to you it might be it might not be that's up to you to decide then the consumer buying styles they'll give you that and then the wireless carrier i don't know again how this would assist you in your decision but in case it does at least you know so they have a very 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 detailed breakdown of your audience so you can see demographic top language is english lifestyle the online buyers consumer behavior top buying style is quick and easy and so on so yeah that's it for twitter analytics and it's not my favorite analytics in terms of uh, the other social media platforms i don't find it as straightforward and as um, I don't just say useful because it is useful to an extent, but it's not as reusable as the others. Yeah, I think that's the word I'd go with. The statistics are not as reusable as the other platforms, and and I think as far as all the other platforms, Twitter, Twitter ads probably are the least user friendly in terms of creating the ad because they have a lot of things that are not very clear on what they do so but if your audience is on twitter and that's where you want to advertise that's where you 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 reach you'll get the most out of your ads then go for it i have no problem with twitter ads i just think they can make it a bit user friendly and they can make their statistics a bit reusable like for facebook if you haven't checked that out you can check out the ad, the video i did on facebook statistics their statistics are very helpful by the way very reusable so you can check that video out so that's it for today that's all i'll be sharing for today if you liked this video give it a big 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 thumbs up uh, if you have any feedback comment below if you've experienced any challenges with twitter comment below if you find twitter very easy to use comment below and i mean twitter ads specifically not twitter the social media platform twitter ads if you find twitter ads easy to use comment below uh if you have any challenges with twitter ads comment below give me feedback on the video if there's more you'd want me to cover if there's something i left out 
comment below it, if it was very informative and useful to you also comment below give it a big thumbs up like share and subscribe if you haven't subscribe because we'll be going through all the social media platforms and some of the branding tips and tricks as well as just general business talk on this on tuesdays every tuesdays on this channel so subscribe and i'll see you next time